What's up, Fight Fans? Welcome to Triple THS powered by G Fuel from Gamma Labs. I'm the Zoon of MMA cartoon journalism, Tommy Toehold. Today, JBJ talks teddy bears, the spider says fuck a super fight, good old JR throws his 10 gallon hat into the cage. Plus, the viewer comment of the week. Let's do this shit! <laughs> Is it in you? JBJ is spitting hot fire right now, doing the media rounds in preparation for his throwdown with the Mauler at UFC 165 in the GTA map known as Toronto. A fitting place for JBJ and Gus to duke it out, considering just 23 short years ago the ultimate challenge took place there. Gustafson's got long arms, some nasty finishes, and a strong likelihood that the current light heavyweight GOAT will take his cookies Saturday. But crazier shit has happened, and if Matt Sarah comes out with the Mauler, JBJ is in some big fucking trouble. Right. Okay, John, for the last time, you're not a fucking lion. Tell that to my opponents. Oh, John, that was... That was awful. You've got a really tough challenge coming up in Swedish Chef, so let me skip right past him and talk to you about who you're gonna fight after you beat him. What do you think of Glover Teixeira? He's not ready. He let Ryan Bader punch him in the face. I didn't even let Ryan Bader punch me in UFC Undisputed 3. Ha! That was actually... Pretty funny. What about Daniel Cormier? Honestly, like, I don't think he should even be allowed to fight people. Like, at all. And why's that? Because I don't like him, and he's a sweaty teddy bear. He can't even wrestle. Oh, you won gold in U.S. freestyle six years in a row. Wow. I remember my first wrestling meet. That actually sounds like a pretty impressive accomplishment, John. <laughs> I've wrestled better wrestlers at at wrestling practice. That one kind of flew off the rails on you there. It doesn't matter. Sun Tzu said, can you imagine what I would do if I could do all that I can do? So you're telling me that Sun Tzu basically said how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Yeah, I guess so. Speaking of goats, the former middleweight champ hasn't exactly had the best luck as of late. Getting dropped by the Nassau County Clubber while showing off his sweet dance moves, and now because of the rematch, he'll have to answer the question, what the fuck were you thinking for five whole months? But that's not the only thing that's on the MMA media's mind. They're still talking super fights, and the spider's sick of hearing about them as much as Carlos Danger's sick of hearing about dick pics. Silva called the fights perfect bullshit, which is not to be confused with inferior bullshit. But there's always a chance something was lost in translation. Anderson, super fights, give me your thoughts on them. Um, my opinion. I don't like the super fight. I tell the people, all I want to do is for Chris Wiener. But they say, no, Anderson. You talk super fight. They always say me the question, I know can't beat John Jones. He had the Belch. He had the Greg Jackson. Who going to beat that? That fight is for Glover to lose. Chris Wiener already make me jackass. What about GSP? Yeah, but he tiny wrestling man. He have to cut up for the fight. Then I dance around and beat him because he no punch people. He do take down. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Boop. Then he sleep. He sleep on top of the Nick Diaz. I beat Georges. But then who next? No half. No half. No half. All I want is Wiener. Well, come December, I think you're gonna have all that you can handle. Good luck, champ. But God, fight fans! Legendary pro wrestling commentator Jim Ross has retired from his duties as head of talent relations for the World Wildlife Fund after 257 years in the industry. But like all people who retire find out after a month, life sucks ass when you're just sitting there waiting for Judge Judy to come on. So, the Boomer Sooner did a spot on the MMA Hour with everyone's favorite Canadian import, Ariel Helwani. And MMA Hour fans were treated to what we all secretly wanted to hear, good old JR talking about commentating mixed martial arts. But like nudity in a PG-13 movie, it was just a tease, as it sounds like JR would be more interested in dealing with talent than grabbing the mic. Jimmy, what are the chances we could see you trying your hand at MMA commentary? Well, I don't think the transition would be that challenging for me, but I would honestly rather focus on dealing with and developing talent. Yeah, that's not gonna work for the show, JR. I'm gonna need some commentary jokes. Goldberg, get out here! What the fuck was that, Mike? Where did you even come from? I've been out in this field for several weeks. Not entirely sure how I got here. Wouldn't it make more sense to pair me with Rogan, seeing as he's the expert and Mike would serve in the same capacity as I would? It would, but Joe was just on the show last week, JR, so I'm trying to mix shit up. Okay, I'll give you guys a scenario and you give me the commentary. Conor McGregor is making his entrance go. Here comes the Irish Proger J, Conor McGregor, Jim. Conor McGregor is the toughest son of a bitch I ever saw. And business is damn sure about to pick up. It certainly is, Jim. Corn nuts, put them in your mouth. 
And while you're at it, Mike, why not put a little bit of my world-famous barbecue sauce on your nuts? Okay, okay, okay. How about this? Commentate Silva Weidman 2. Jim, this match is like a mirror image of their previous fight, except the exact opposite of a mirror image. I'm not exactly sure what you mean by that, but we are getting a good old-fashioned slobber knocker out here tonight. Wait a minute. Jim, what's happening? No! Damn it! Matt Sarah just hit Chris Weidman in the head with a steel chair! It was a double cross! Abu Dhabi. No! Damn him! Damn you, Matt Sarah! Uh, somebody stop the damn match! He's broken in half! Jim, who's that climbing out from under the cage? Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Corn nuts. Hardcore corn in every bag. This went well. Viewer comment time! Each week I make the show, and each week I thoroughly disappoint a large amount of my viewers. Viewers who then take to the streets known as the YouTube comment section for swift justice. This week's best comment comes to us from Brent DeWitt who said, Congrats on being voted best MMA-based cartoon on YouTube that airs on a semi-regular basis under the 10 minute mark with no original content or storyline arc. Thank you. That's Joe Fight fans! Follow me on Facebook and Twitter for all the happenings on DuckTales. Big ass thanks to all my awesome friends on these two walls of logos. Another big ass thanks to Bruce Buffer and It's Time Industries. Go to Triple THS. Com, buy a Beanie Geek Patcher t-shirt, take a badass picture in it, and I'll put you on the show. What constitutes a badass picture? Being Mike Musatelli works. Last chance to win a bunch of Gamma Labs awesomeness, plus have your creation on the show. Send a graphic of your ultimate combat warrior to contest at GammaLabs.net, name that motherfucker, then submit a bio describing all the awesomeness that is your warrior. But you've only got a few more days, and Ivan Death Row Rootin's got a nasty overhand right. Official rules in the description below. Tune in next Wednesday, Brian Ebersaw is going to teach me how to defang a cobra. For everybody at Triple THS, I'm Tommy Toehold. I don't think Kurt even has a cousin.